Hello ladies and gentlemen and movie lovers of all kind and welcome back to another new release review. And for today, we will be covering the live action remake of Aladdin. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. The first positive for the movie is the three leads. Those being Mena Masood, Naomi Scott, and Will Smith. Mena Masood, I was very hesitant to see him play Aladdin. From the early pictures we were getting, as well as the trailers, I wasn't really impressed by this guy's performance, nor was I really impressed with his whole Aladdin getup. It just seemed almost like an Aladdin cosplay, and I wasn't totally sold until I saw the movie. He really does portray this diamond in the rough type character that he's supposed to. Naomi Scott is a huge scene stealer here. Okay, I absolutely loved her as Princess Jasmine. She gives a phenomenal standout performance and I really do hope to see more of her. And the third one, of course, being Will Smith as the genie. Quite possibly the biggest shoes to ever be filled. You have to step up to the plate and try to even match, let alone surpass, the great late Robin Williams performance as the genie. Does Will Smith pass him? Of course not, okay? The only one that can surpass Robin Williams is nobody. Robin Williams was Robin Williams, a one of a kind. Now the best part about Will Smith's genie though is that he doesn't try to replicate Robin Williams, right? He's not trying to do a Robin Williams impression, he's not using the same jokes, he's being Will Smith's genie. He is his own genie and probably the best part of this movie, honestly. He's funny, he's charming, he's witty, and I absolutely loved him as this character. Next up is the costume and set design. Whether you're in awe at the shimmering palace or you're getting down and dirty in the slums, you really felt like you were getting to experience this whole new culture that doesn't typically get the spotlight in Hollywood films. As well as the big beautiful parties that they throw, so many costumes at once, the parade scene in which Aladdin comes out as Prince Ali, all of that stuff, the costume design and the set design, absolutely wonderful. And next is almost like an add-on to the last one, but that's just the color scheme for this movie. A lot of people were saying with the early screenshots we were getting in the early trailers, it looked lifeless, it looked colorless, it looked bland. I'm happy to report that I didn't find that to be the case at all. I actually found the colors in this movie to be absolutely superb and very eye-popping. And another positive, despite me being someone who doesn't like musicals, nor musical numbers in most movies, the musical numbers in this movie were actually a complete blast. All these songs that you love from the original are back and done by these new actors, and trust me, they do them justice. And lastly for the positives, and this is a thing that has been really hit or miss when it comes to the Disney live action remakes. As you would assume, the original animated feature features are a lot shorter than these new live action remakes, and it's no different here. But luckily for Aladdin, I felt the added time was actually great. I feel like if they would have done all this in an hour and a half, it would have felt rushed at points. Luckily here, I felt that the added time actually did a great job at fleshing out the characters and the story a little bit more than I was expecting. And now for the negatives. Firstly is the villain. Jafar was played by Marwan Kanzari, and honestly, I found him to be very bland and very lifeless. I mean, you look back at the original Aladdin, Jafar was just mean. He had this growl to him. He was very menacing and he was the perfect villain to oppose Aladdin. Switch to the live action version and he's just average run of the mill villain. I mean, I know Jafar had the same plan, but at least he sounded very scary. In this one, he's just a normal villain being a normal villain. And now for the next negative. And even though despite the fact that I actually loved Will Smith as the genie, I did, however, not like the look of the genie. I mean, when he was in his human form, yeah, fine. That's whatever. It's Will Smith. I didn't care about that but the actual genie he had a six pack and biceps that were the size of my upper body he's not this big lovable genie instead he's just this big bodybuilding genie. And now for the next negative, aside from the genie's look himself, because even though the CGI was a bit shoddy on the genie from time to time, just his look in general, I didn't really care for. But this is focusing on the inconsistent CGI throughout the entire movie. Even for instance, take the animals in this movie. At moments, Raja looks very, very convincing. And same thing with Abu. At times, Abu looked really good, looked like a real monkey. And other times, not at all. Just very inconsistent back and forth CGI throughout the entire movie. And lastly for the negatives is the fact that the realism of this movie can sometimes take away from the fun. Now I know what you must be thinking, realism, there's a genie, there's sorcery, but for the most part it was the characters that I felt actually took a hit from the realism. For instance, Iago, the parrot, played brilliantly by Gilbert Gottfried in the original and now it's just a parrot. Abu was a funny, awesome monkey. In the original, come to this one and 
there's still funny moments with Abu, but they're funny moments with a plain monkey. Now with all that being said folks, I actually was pleasantly surprised by Aladdin. I didn't love it by any means, but I expected it to be terrible, and it wasn't at all. It was actually a pretty good time. Therefore, I'm going to be giving Aladdin a 7 out of 10. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know, what were your thoughts on the Aladdin live-action remake? And as always, thank you so much for watching, and that's a wrap.